up guys, welcome back to the Turtle Cave. I'm Aaron, as always, that, that's me. And today we are back with more of the new Archie NECA Ninja Turtles. Uh, we have the Stump Arena Leatherhead and we have the Mondo Gecko. So these look really neat, can't wait to check these out. I'm still on the hunt for old belly bomb, avoiding the crap out of me guy. I will find you. So you can run, but you can't hide. There he is right there, see him? And where do we find him? This guy over here. You, I'll find you. I tell you I will. Sorry if you hear a truck, it's trash day and they're picking up the trash right now. Look, there he is again. He's everywhere and nowhere at the same time. You know what I mean? Can't find him, but I did order him. Um, he should be coming in the next week or two, I would say. So we already have Jaguar, we already have Dreadmon. So now we have Mondo and we have uh, Crying Hound. We just need the Belly Bomb. And we have everything that's out so far for the Archie line, which is one of my favorite lines so far. So here we go, uh, we will crack these open. So if you just saw, I posted yesterday the uh, Stump 4-Pack Turtles, which was super cool. I can't believe I actually even found that, so that was awesome. So we'll crack these open and take a look at these and see how uh, how these compare. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I do this every time. Before we do that, let's slow down. Let's, let's slow down, man. Let's take a look at the packaging, because some people like the packaging. I'm just like ready to rip into it. But here you go. Okay, so there it is. Looking cool. All right, the packaging looks pretty awesome. Give you a nice shot there. They did pretty good. I will say, they, they do really well making these things come to life here. I mean, look at that. It looks awesome. And then there is your barcode and everybody involved. And then here we go, the leather head. Now this is a beefy one. That's a beefy boy. Right, there's your stump leather head. This is so cool. Might be my favorite leather head so far. That's a bold statement. I don't know, we'll have to see. Look at that artwork. Artwork is looking cool. Back of the box, raising his hand like he's the champ, flying off the top rope. He's coming in hot. And then there's some more artwork there. And then you have the bottom of the box, barcode, and everybody involved, your legalese, and of course, Nickelodeon. All right? Gotta say Nickelodeon. All right, let's uh, give me one second and we will crack. Okay guys, so we got them out of the package and before we show these guys, I just wanted to say this this was what uh, came in the the Leatherhead uh, back sleeve on the box. I just thought that was neat. Look, there's a big cuddly. Cuddly, the cowlick. Flying head, it's just like the weirdest thing ever. Like how tripped out is that? Like it's just wild. Just a, just a cow's head that flies around. Super cool. All right, and then here's everything we get um, with these guys. And I will say, I did have a little bit of a problem trying to get them to stand. <laughs> it's just because they're a little stiff out of the package and their feet, they did not want to stand up. So I had to fight with them a little bit, um, especially the Mondo here, he kept falling over, but I think we're good now. Uh, they're still a little stiff in the, in the old uh, feet area. Okay, but here's all of our accessories everything that comes in the packages, okay? So we will start with Leatherhead. We'll start with Leatherhead because he came with less items, okay? Because I don't really consider that an accessory. That's part of his body that they just detach to fit in the package, right? So he does not really have a whole lot of accessories. He basically has four extra hands. Um, so what we will do is we'll plug his tail in. So there's his tail. It's got the bendy wire holes in it. Really nicely done. Looks cool. Okay, we'll just plug that right into his tail hole. Right there. That's what that is. It's his tail hole. Put it in. Put it in. Put it in. Put it in. 
your mind out of the gutter. Right, there you go. Just really get it in there. There it is. All right, so now his tail is in his tail hole. And it does have a hinge, but you're not hinging that. So, as you can see, the fins here touch his butt cheeks. So there's no hinge there. You're not forcing that up, that's for sure. Maybe down, but it seems like it's a little paint stuck at the moment, see it? I don't really wanna, oh yeah, you can see it. Look, see the paint chipping away right there. So that happens with NECA, they paint their joints which is no big deal. I just gotta kinda, there it is. And then we broke it free. So there you go. So you can angle his tail down and out. That's about as far as it's gonna go. So you got there or down, right? And, that's neat. and then you can bend it as you like. But yeah, so just bear with me here. I'm just fighting over the camera here. This is my new setup. All right, so before we get into him, let's check his accessories, his accessoronies. So he has, he has fists that come on him, and then he comes with a right and a left, looks like weapon holding hands, but he has no weapon to hold. But I'm thinking maybe he could take stuff from the turtles Mikey sledgehammer, the chair, fire extinguisher, whatnot. And then he has a right and a left open hand. Like I'm gonna slap your hand. You know, let me get that to focus. There we go. So you do get one of each of those. No painted nails or anything, they're all just green. So, but they look cool, they're not bad. And then you got him, himself, the man himself, you know? So you do have the black line work here, which looks nice all over him. It's on his shorts, it's on his little, you know, armbands and all over his skin. His eyebrows looking awesome. Check him out. So he does not, from what I see, he does not have, <gasps> no, I'm wrong. He does. I didn't think he had uh, any jaw articulation, guys. Check that out. I was way wrong. Oh man, that's that's killer. He does. He's got really good jaw articulation too. That's awesome. <laughs> that's so much cooler. All right, I'm gonna move Mondo out of the way here because he's kind of distracting. There we go. Stop, stop focusing on Mondo. There he is. So there he is. He looks really cool. I am super psyched about that. That's awesome. Look at that. Ah! Charlie bit my finger. So there he is. And let's see. We'll go over the articulation of this guy real fast. He is pretty beefy. I will say I'll compare him in a minute to the cartoon leather head. Um, I do have the cartoon one over there somewhere, so we'll see how he sizes up, but this guy is like a totally different, obviously, from a different, you know, that's the cartoon, this is the comic, but really neat, so let's see here, we got, whoa, his arms go about that far, so not like a full-on T-pose, they kind of stop right there and they don't want to go any higher. So that's about as high as you're gonna get right there, which isn't terrible, right? For this guy, the big beefy man, man gator, croc, whatever, arms rotate. He does have a bicep swivel, which does work really well. He has a single jointed elbow. So right, I would say right under 90, pinless, no pins. That's what I'm noticing with all these new figures, which is really neat. I like the fact that NECA is going pinless. I think, in my opinion, I think they look better. Um, we'll get to that when we get to Mondo, because Mondo, surprisingly, is not pinless, which I, I kind of found shocking. It seems like all the new figures are pinless, but we'll talk about that when we get to him. And then, obviously, the head, so he can... I did that on purpose. 
totally meant to do that. That pops <laughs> right off. Um, so the head can look up that far. So pretty much not at all. Um, and then he can look down about that much. He can turn to the side. He can turn to that side. He can look no up, like I said, and like a tiny bit of down. And then his jaw is hinged. So you can open it. You can see. That's what he sounds like, in case anybody was wondering. And then he does have a diaphragm cut here. So you can get like a side, you can get a side, right? You can get like a nice punching pose. Give him a little crunch so he can punch, you know what I mean? Give him a crunch so he can punch. And then let's see, does he go back? About that far back. Move his hands out so you can see. And then forward. About that far forward. Okay. And it obviously it does rotate and then it rotates at the waist. So you can turn him like that or just kind of swivel him all the way around if you'd like for some reason. All right, and then at the hips, let's see, these hips don't lie. Not that much. You're not doing any splits here because his shorts are gonna stop it right there. And I don't wanna stretch those too much. That's pretty far as it is. Because that paint, I'll tell you right now, that paint will crack, right? You do not want that. And then forward, tiny bit forward. Again, you're hitting that little diaper part back, hitting the butt part of the diaper, right? I don't think, again, I don't think he needs to be crazy because he's a big guy. So they're not gonna be doing enough, you know, anything crazy like that. You really need to be able to pose him standing there, punching, you know, holding a turtle above his head, something like that. So I don't really fault them when they do that. So that doesn't really bother me. Uh, we have a single jointed knee. That goes to right there. So that's very limited, I would say, because of the shorts. You're not gonna get any more than that. That's way less than 90 there, maybe like 45. Okay, and then you do have the boots. You do not have a boot swivel at the top there, but you have the hinge, which at mine were real, real tight out of the box. Okay, you go back, and then you can go forward a tiny bit, and then you have rocker side to side, as always. And then his, his shoes do look good. I like it when they do the shoes. It's funny when you see like, a, you know, an animal man with sneakers on, boots, whatever. So I do like him. He's very, very cool, actually. Um, glad to have him in the collection. Super glad that he has jaw articulation. Think that makes it so much better. We'll put him off to the side for right now. And we're gonna bring in Mondo here, which I think is on a lot of people's list. I did see a lot of people saying that they really want Mondo. Uh, you know, there's a lot of Mondo fans out there. So I do think he's really cool. I'm a little bummed that he's not pinless. After getting all these pinless figures now, the turtles were pinless. You know, old Leathy Head over here is pinless. And Mondo's not. So that's interesting. I will say it's definitely interesting. It doesn't look bad. We're, we're all used to seeing this, right? It just would have been... In my opinion, I think it would have been better if they went pinless. Um, I guess his tooling must have been done way before everybody else's. So he must have been much further along in production than we all thought if he came out with pins. I'd love to hear from NECA about that. Like, why did Mondo end up still having pins? He must have been further along in production. There's no other way to describe it. But uh, here we go. So this Mondo looks like, you know, he is burned out, dude. He looks like he's like, yeah, bro. And he looks like half the kids I went to high school with. <laughs> We're going to go skate behind the Acme, dude. Do you want to come? No? All right, cool, bro. See you later. Which way is the Acme? Is this way? 
No, no. Oh, sorry. That's this way. <laughs> My bad, dude. <laughs> that's, that's what he looks like. <laughs> but he's cool. I like. He's got really nice texture. I don't know if it's coming across. Let's see. Here. His arms are nicely textured, like his skin. He looks really cool. I like his nice bright colors. Like he's like a really bright green. And we'll compare him to his cartoon counterpart as well. Let me see if I can turn this light down. Maybe we can see his details a little better. Yeah, he's neat, man. I will say he's very cool. Very, very cool. Mr. Mondo, there he is. You can see his braces. Right, his cool purple hat that's on sideways, all that hair flowing. There's all the texture I was talking about. Looking good. There's his legs. Look at all that texture in the legs. He's got his skull pad. All right, his skull and crossbones with the skateboard shirt. Gotta love that. And then just because I did do a little zoom in there, I will show you the, uh, whoop. There's old Leatherhead, too. He's a little taller, so. You want to get a closer look at him. So he is also textured. Yeah, there you go. Looking awesome, man. All right, let me zoom us back out here. So then he, before we get into the articulation, he comes with a bunch more accessories so he's got his skateboard obviously right and I do like that it has like a ray on there I think that's neat right that looks kind of like a stingray or a man ray right nice purple color you got the peg on there now we did get another one of these we got this I'm surprised we got this come on come on focus focus uh oh, it's too small maybe. Don't want to focus. There it is maybe. So it's just a little gecko. The little gecko that we got. We got this exact gecko with the cartoon Mondo. Alright. And then he's got his drink. You do not want dry mouth. I'm sure this dude suffers from dry mouth uh, quite often probably multiple times a day, judging by the look of him, right? So he's got to stay hydrated. And then he has a microphone. That's pretty cool, right? And then he has five extra hands. So he's got two of the open hands on him. And then he has the red gloved hand that's gripping. He has the black gloved hand that's gripping. He has the black, the black, the black gloved hand that's like a C grip, like a wider C grip. He has the red gloved hand that's like a hang loose. And then he's got the uh, black gloved hand that's like the uh, rock on. Rock on! You know what I mean? There you go. So very cool. And then last, he has his guitar, which my daughter will love this. My daughter is six and teal is for some reason right now her favorite color. And this is like pretty close to teal. So she's going to love this. You're gonna think that's super cool. Nice. I wish they would have given it a strap, but whatever, you know, he can hold it. It would have been cooler to have a strap so you could have it like strapped on him, maybe put it on his back, you know, when he's skating, like that would have been cool. A uh, little bit of a missed opportunity there, but it would have been neat to have, you know. Let's see, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Huh. One, two, three, four, five. So it's a, it's a bass. <laughs> Slip at the bass. I'm gonna jam out, man. When I jam with my bass, I'm gonna jam out, man. Slap at the bass, mama. Slap at the bass, mama. Slap at that bass, mama. I slap at that bass. Please don't do that. Slap at the bass. 
Please. Look at the piss. For the sake of our relationship. Slop a dot box. Please stop. Please, please stop. Thank you. <laughs> it's a six string guitar, but it only got five strings. He plays a six string guitar with only five strings. Watch out for that man. That man's dangerous. Sorry. It's a little early in the morning. I'm still still waking up. But uh, here we go. We'll go over his articulation. Again, I love the look of this guy. Super killer. So here we go. He's very stiff. Out of all of them, he is the tightest. That's what she said. <laughs> That's for sure. He needs to loosen up. So there you go. There's his arm up. That's scary. Here we go. So there is a T-pose. That's about as far as I can go. I can't really push it any further. Um, he has oof, full rotation, obviously, a bicep swivel. Now he does have a double jointed elbow. Now see, this is sketchy, man. I, I always heat up your figures if they're this tight, so I'm not gonna force it. The, the double joint there's a little gummy and I don't want to force it. So there's one. Let me see if I can free this side. He's very tight. That's what she said. <laughs> As compared to the other ones that I've done. There we go, this side's much freer, there it is. All right, so there's your full motion on that side. So good, pass 90, right? So not bad at all. The head does look like it's gonna be a little hindered with all this hair, so he can look side to side. He can look up pretty much. I mean, if you force it, he can look up, but it's just gonna come back down, I would say. He can look down pretty good. And then, let's see, does he got any attitude? A Little bit of, huh, what, all right? And then obviously you can rotate it if you want. And let's see, the hinges at the hands, I'm sure I haven't even shown the hands, but everybody knows hands. You have your rotation and then the hinge in and out. Um, at the waist, he does, it looks like he has like a diaphragm under the shirt, because he's not turning here, he's turning up here. So you do have that. Uh, no crunch forward. He's not going any forward or back. And that doesn't look like his waist, I can't get his waist to break free. It's only turning under the shirt. So it looks like he has one of the upper diaphragm uh, cuts. You just can't see it. And then let's see at the hips. Ooh. So he can do pretty good splits, but it is stressing that little dipey dipe. Just be careful there. Cause like I said, these will crack, right? Like usually what will happen is like right in this area here, it'll crack and you'll start to see the paint crack and you don't want to do that. But there you go. There's like the hip action there. Now see how when you do that, it leaves like a gap there because now we just stretch this out. It'll go back to normal, but you just got to be careful with that because you can do some damage, trust me. Same thing doing this. Now leg forward. Now all of that just stretched, but that's about as far forward as his leg's going to go. Back. There you go. Okay, not too shabby. Now let's see, he does have a double jointed knee. Can we do the knees? Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, so there's the knee. I would say it's like right around 90-ish. It does pinch up due to the, um, the knee pad strap. So I'm guessing it's gonna be the same on both sides. Yeah, same on both sides. So they both pinch up right around the same area. But not terrible, really. And then you have his tail, which does rotate, and it is on a hinge that's as far up as it goes, and then that's as far down as it goes, okay? And I don't see a bendy wire in there. There's no bendy wire, that tail is solid. You that? No holes for the bendy. So that is just a solid tail. And that is Mondo Gecko, right there. Your Archie Mondo, very cool. He's very difficult to stand up. I will say he seems like he wants to constantly fall over on me. I don't know why. 
I'm, I'm struggling out of all of them to keep him up. That tail is kind of heavy. It is a solid piece of, uh, you know, probably PVC or whatever they use. It's not like super heavy, but it is kind of counterbalancing him a little bit, wanting to pull him, pull him back down to the ground. So you got to kind of lean him forward a little bit. So let me grab a couple of figures and we'll do a little bit of comparisons just so you guys can see. So here we are, we're back now. Uh, let's see, so we do have Mondo on his board, right? I put him up there. He is difficult, guys. I will say balance him. Yeah, you know, some people might not think so. He's a little, you gotta be on it with the balance. I'll tell you that, you know? So you just gotta make sure you balance him right and he'll be good to go. So here we go, there is the Archie versus the cartoon, right? In case anybody wants to see what the difference is, um, see how they match up, the, the outfits, the style, the color, whatever, what have you. I know a lot of people like comparisons. So there you go. You know, we'll give them the old shift rooney I personally think the Archie one looks cooler. They're both great, but I, I just, come on. That's awesome, man. The Archie one just looks so good to me. I love the style of it. So there they are, uh, pretty similar in height. I think they're almost exact, but they look, they look cool. <laughs> Different universe uh, Archies coming together, there, or uh, Mondos coming together. And then uh, we do have old Leatherhead. And then his different universe counterpart here with his weird feet. Come here, Leatherhead. He's got a little dust on him. He's a little dusty. That's okay. Little dust never hurt nobody. There he is, see. And you're like, uh-oh. This guy is taller. He seems a little bit um, beefier, but the older cartoon version is taller, as you can see. So, again, you know, whatever you like. Really, if you like everything, then get them both. If you like the cartoon, get the cartoon. If you like the... Uh, the stump wrestling then get the stump wrestling again I think the stump one looks cooler but it's just you can't really compare because this is a good cartoon version so you know depends on what you like better if you like the cartoon better if you like the comic you know dealers choice so there you go I think they look really neat together I like it all right and then just to do a couple more comparisons with the old Leatherhead, we got the Stump Mikey. So that's how they compare together. And then we've got move Mikey over here, move Leatherhead over here. We have Leo. So there you go. You can see Leo. So there they are. So if you do get these, you can kind of see what they look like maybe in a display. Um, they do go well together. I like that Leatherhead's not super huge compared to them. He's beefy, but he's not like towering over them. So it looks neat. They're, they're going to go uh, well together. I really do like this version of the Turtles. They're much thicker, you know, thicker boys. Check them out. They look good. <laughs> they look cool. I like it. Leatherhead looks like he might be in some trouble. He's about to get sledgehammered and hit with a fire extinguisher at the same time. So, there you go. Let's put these guys off to the side for a minute. Bye bye, little head. Just lay down, man. Take a break. Take a break. All right. So, let's check out Mondo here. I just want to see something real quick because he does have the guitar. I just want to see how easy it is to have him hold that guitar. Because again, I think it would have been cooler to have a strap. Just saying. So let's see, hands, 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 hands. Um, hmm, how are we gonna do this? How are we doing this, sir? Let me see something. So there, here's the big C grip, right? Just trying to get an idea here. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so there's the C grip. And then there's the like the rock on. Rock on. 
I was just trying to see if I could get him to maybe... Yeah, no, you're not going to get him to hold it with that. So no to that one, but let's try the tighter grip, obviously. Trying to figure out how to get old, old Mondo here to hold on to his guitar. Like, you gotta... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, see, it's just gonna work out better, I feel like, if you do this. I'm trying to give some people some ideas here. You're gonna have to... He's just gonna have to always hold it by the neck, I feel like, and not the body. So whenever you do the hand thing, it's gonna have to be with this hand. I was hoping maybe there'd be a way for him to hold it from the body of the guitar, but now it's gonna have to be from the neck. And then you can kind of like, just like angle it to where you want it. Kind of, kind of balance it, there you go. Like he's just like, rub on! Check it out. So that's cool, it looks, it looks good. Uh, again, not to beat a dead horse or a cow or whatever. Man, this guy's tough. Stand up, buddy. I would have preferred a strap. I think it would have been so much cooler because um, you could have had that around him. Ooh, he's falling back on his tail. And you could have had both hands free with the guitar hanging. Would have been cool, but it is what it is. No big deal. Uh, looks like you can have him do that. Or, I just noticed... You could have him in the middle of shredding. And my man is thirsty. He's like, whew, shredding makes me thirsty. Sometimes I play some tasty licks and I'm just like, I need a drink. My mouth is super dry. <laughs> uh, there he is. See how he constantly wants to lean backwards? But maybe it's just mine. I don't know. Maybe I stink at posing. There he goes. Oh, fell on his tail. He's got a tripod, so it's okay. But yeah, I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I think these are great. Uh, sorry, it's a super long video. I'm kind of just playing around here, uh, being an idiot. But uh, yeah, I am super excited to have found these. Cannot wait to find Belly Bomb. I'm going to keep saying it. So if anybody sees a Belly Bomb out there in the Indiana area, Ohio area, hit up your boy. Let me know because I need it. I want to review it for you guys, so let me know. All right? I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys are liking the videos, and I will see you next time.